Okay, here we are with uh, floppy drive test time. Uh, this one I picked up for a uh, couple of bucks on eBay, and uh, it seemed to be dead. Um, since then, I've cleaned the heads, didn't do anything, and then I cleaned the uh, cleaned out the drive. Made the heads nice and clean, but uh, this one, this particular one, is a what is this? Neutronics uh, Mitsumi uh, D509V3. So this drive has a nice flashy green LED on the front, and uh, is a 1.2 megabyte drive, of course. And I have not been able to get it to go until now. And you want to know what made it go? It's a bit crazy, really. Um, the pins. The pins on the connector. The edge connector. Because right now, if I go punch in B colon, instead of seek error, general error, my mum error, it actually works. So just to be sure, you know, run a format command, just make sure the disk format's okay. And uh, let's just listen to the peaceful sounds of formatting from the A drive, just for a little while. While we're at it, why don't we send the uh, system files across? System transferred. No problems. So, there you have it. It can be something as simple as the pins just not making good contact with the cable, giving you problems. Um, because uh, this isn't the first floppy drive that I've had troubles with where there weren't actually any troubles. Uh, I also have the Osborne up there with its floppy drive that was giving me all hell as well, but uh, it suddenly came good one day. Now, I don't know, is that bad contacts again? Am I really having that much bad luck with uh, these five and quarters? Anyway, this one's working. Thanks for watching and look, good luck to you. If you're watching this because you have a five and a quarter inch floppy, good luck. I hope you uh, get it working. RetroJunkie.net for more. And now it doesn't work. Invalid Meteor Track Zero Bad Disk Unusable. But does that motor look like it's spinning properly? I don't know. 
I reckon it's a bit wonk tarted, but floppy drives. What do you do with them? Silence, children.